Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and wow, I just got finished watching the Aaron Rodgers press conference. Oh man, it's official. It's happening. Look at this man holding up an official Aaron Rodgers jersey, rocking number eight. Let me know in the comment section right now, guys, how are you feeling after Aaron Rodgers officially gets announced as the newest quarterback of the New York Jets? The press conference was ridiculous. There was like over 20,000 people congruent live watchers on YouTube. It was broadcasted on NFL Network, on ESPN. The whole NFL world was tuned in to Aaron Rodgers and to hear what he had to say as he got introduced as as a member of the New York Jets. So in this video, I want to give you guys my favorite quotes and some takeaways that I have from Aaron Rodgers talking with, oh my God, the media. I mean, it wasn't even just the Jets media. It was the NFL national media was there. And get used to that, folks, because now there's going to be a lot of national media all over the New York Jets. Guys, if you're pumped up for Aaron Rodgers to being officially announced as a New York Jet, do your boy a gigantic favor by simply hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Really helps me out a ton. Let's get further into it. So first and foremost, I want to talk about what he had to say to us. Who are we? We're the Jets fan base. And he had a lot of glowing things. He even mentioned Fireman Ed. It just seems like he's just destined to be a Jet to the point where he's so in tune with us as a fan base. He said that he felt our our presence in Green Bay when we went there last season and beat him. And he was really you know moved by the Jets fan base. So this was his message to us. And here's a direct quote from Aaron Rodgers. I'm as hungry as you guys are. It's been a long time since we've been to the playoffs and even longer since we've been to the Super Bowl. But I promise you, I'm as hungry as you guys. Now, that was a direct quote from Aaron Rodgers speaking to Jets fans. And I love how he's referring to as we been to, <laughs> right? He's already saying we in that, in that sentence because he's one of us now. He is a member of the New York Jets. He really had a lot of cool things to talk about. And um, I like that the... The questions asked to him had a lot to do with the fan base because we're passionate and we are 12 years removed from being to the playoffs. It's the longest playoff drought in Northern American sports. It's terrible. So I want Rodgers to know that. And I'm happy that they asked him that question. And he had a lot of good things to say about us as a fan base and how passionate we are. And he's really excited to get to know us. Um, another thing that I was really moved by is Aaron Rodgers continuously gave the credit to Robert Sala, to Joe Douglas, to Woody Johnson, to Christopher Johnson, to Jaime and and of course, Nathaniel Hackett for the reason why he's here. That trip that the Jets made to go to the West Coast in California to meet with him in person, it really impressed Aaron Rodgers. And you got to give the New York Jets organization a lot of credit to be able to be where they're at in this situation to convince a player like Aaron Rodgers who's committing to playing for them instead of retiring. I mean, it's really awesome because Aaron Rodgers kept saying, I would not be here if it wasn't for all these different factors. And then this is what he had to say when they were asking, why did you choose the Jets? Jets, why did Jets, out of any other team, what did you see with this? And he said, first of all, he mentions Joe Douglas and how good he has been with drafting. He, he brought up the rookie of the years last year with Garrett Wilson and Sauce Gardner, and he kept saying over and over again how impressed he is with Joe Douglas's ability to draft. And then he also had to bring up, yeah, I mean, the Jets kicked our butts in Green Bay last year, so I had an up-close personal perspective of that Jets team. And then he brings up Robert Sala, how he's building something special by bringing in the right guys to build through the culture of values, character. And that's what Robert Sala has been saying since he entered the building and Joe Douglas, that they're trying to bring in the guys that have the right head on their shoulders, that know what their, just know what their approach is, the passion for the game, just overall good human beings. And even Aaron Rodgers realized that. So it's really cool to come full circle, guys. When we first hired Joe Douglas and then we hired Robert Sala, they both have the same philosophy of bringing in high character individuals. And it's really cool that Aaron Rodgers mentioned that because that t tells you that what Joe Douglas is saying and Robert Sala is saying that they want to do is happening before our very eyes. And then, of course, he brings up Nathaniel Hackett, how close he is with him. And I think that's obviously the biggest, one of the biggest reasons why Aaron Rodgers is here in terms of continuity with the scheme doesn't have to worry about learning a brand new offense and of course he's extremely comfortable and really really close with Nathaniel Hackett now another thing that was probably one of my favorite quotes from Aaron Rodgers was that when he brought up number 12 Broadway Joe he said that he grew up watching VHS uh, tapes of all the Super Bowls so he watched Super Bowl 3 he mentioned the guarantee and he said he heard what uh, Joe Namath said that you can have my number 12 you can have my number 12 jersey if you would like Aaron Rodgers but Rodgers said quote 12 is Broadway Joe 
and he's not taking that. He's excited to go back to his old, uh, old college number at Cal at number eight, and that really is cool because I did not want him to take number 12. I really didn't, and I think this is something that really um, is going to help like turn Jets fans in terms of just like falling in love with Rodgers even more that he kind of just respects the culture and respects the history of this Jets team and he knows how long it's been since we won a Super Bowl and he knows how much Jets fans idolize Joe Namath and it wouldn't have felt right to see Aaron Rodgers rock number 12 and even he knows that Um, and then another cool thing that he said as well he said a lot of cool things guys obviously when Rodgers walked into the facility he noticed man that Super Bowl number three trophy is getting really lonely. He's talking Super Bowl, folks. He's talking Super Bowl. He believes that the Jets have what it takes to win a Super Bowl. He said that he's an old guy and he wants to be a part of a team that can win it all. And he believes that this Jets team can win it all. And he's not just saying that, folks. He's been on a team that won a Super Bowl all the way back in 2010. I get that. But he knows what it takes. He knows what it takes. And he sees this team and he thinks that this team has what it takes to win a damn Super Bowl. So let that sink in. Let that sink in. Holy crap. Now, another thing that's really important to talk about is they were asking him, Rodgers, are you going to be playing beyond this year? And he didn't really say it straight up. But if I had this guess, man, he's going to be here another year. He said, quote, I'm going to be here for the foreseeable future. And he kept alluding to the fact that he wants to get familiar with the area of New Jersey, you know, settle into a new home, get familiar with the facility, his teammates, the coaching staff. He doesn't want to just, like, just get there and just commit right away. He wants to like ease his way in. And I don't blame him. But he said, I'm going to be here for the foreseeable future. He's on a contract for three Three years. So the only reason why Rodgers would leave the Jets is by retiring. And hopefully, as a Jets fan, Rodgers, you stay longer than a year, right? I don't I don't want to be selfish here, but come on, Aaron. You want to stay here more than one year after we go for a crazy playoff run this year, as we all hope. But yeah, man, that's my overall takeaways and my favorite quotes from the Aaron Rodgers press conference. It was really awesome to see, man. Even just Rodgers is like energy and his smile and just his aura and his ability to just handle the media so easily. It was really beautiful to see, man. Him in the middle, sandwiched between Joe Douglas and Robert Sala. You saw the the smiles, just really positive vibes all around. And I'm just really happy right now as a Jets fan, and you guys should be too, because the national scope is all over the New York Jets for a reason, because we are going to be the talk of this league, and Aaron Rodgers is officially a member of the New York Jets. So guys, do me a favor, comment down below your thoughts of the Aaron Rodgers press conference. What is your biggest takeaways? What were your favorite quotes? Something that really you took away from the most? I would love to hear what you got to say down below in the comment section. We got a lot of Jets content coming your way. The NFL draft is tomorrow. What? The NFL draft is this weekend. It doesn't even feel like that because I'm living on the Aaron Rodgers high. But we'll see what happens tomorrow night with the Jets pick at number 15. Got a lot of things planned for that. I'll see you guys then. Let's go Jets. Aaron Rodgers, welcome home, baby. Peace.